I won't share it on the, I'll share it on my page since you're here. All right, I'm here with Bill Owens. I'm back here in a hazmat suit behind plastic drinking Clorox uh, because... <laughs> <laughs> Idiots have told you to do so. <laughs> because he is, uh, we're calling this blog, uh, go away thing, there's a thing covering up what I named this blog. I think I called it uh, uh, COVID blog day one, Bill Owens. So... This is what it looks like. So, <laughs> so okay, so I've got a question for you. This is Mike and Pretty Man talking, by the way. Uh, and y'all can share this if you want. We thought, hey, let's blog Bill's COVID journey here. And uh, so you thought that you were probably in contact, uh, like your COVID contact or whatever might have happened Thursday, not this past Thursday, but Thursday a week ago, right? A couple of weeks ago, yeah. So that's about... 12 days ago, possibly, right. which is what prompted you to get tested. Um, um, not because you weren't feeling any symptoms or anything, right. you just heard yeah. yeah. No, no, I feel fine. You just heard that you were in contact with somebody, and I'm trying to, you, you know I cannot multitask, and I'm trying to I'm trying to share this to my page. So let me finish sharing this to my page uh, so uh, that I can, like, put my full focus on the Q&A here. All right, so uh, there's my share button, and then I am, um, let's see here, share now. So it was about 12 days ago or so, <clears throat> and then you got the word that somebody that you were around had the, had it, so. Right, so you, I began then to be concerned and, and thought oh. I'd better be really careful. So yeah, and, st and start, yeah, you started social distancing and. Right, yeah. and. This was after a week had passed uh, between my contact and, uh, you know, when I got the the information. Yeah, yeah, and then so you tried to set up an appointment as fast as you could. Tried to, you even tried to get to one of those ones where they turned around real fast. Right, the rapid result thing, but wasn't available. Yeah, so so you got um, tested on uh, the Friday a week later. So that which was now about four or five days ago. Correct. And uh, what you were told, and correct me if I'm wrong, since it took so long for the testing to come back, they said when you, whenever you thought you might have been exposed, they said ten, if you haven't had any symptoms or anything, 10 days later, this is what you were told, you could kind of go back to some normalcy, but... Right, right. But, yeah, after 10 days, no symptoms and everything... Uh, then I was probably home free. Yeah, and so they, but they said keep your social distancing until you get your testing back. Exactly. Uh, because you just may be an asymptomatic person, uh, which we're praying that's what that is. Right. Because right now yeah. you've been more than 12 days from what we think was the exposure mm -hmm. date, and you haven't really had anything except for your normal hypochondriac self that uh, <laughs> I, I give Bill a hard time about that. So, uh, <laughs> So, um, so it's been about four or five days, and um, and then this morning you got the phone call. Yes. That um, that they said that you're you came back positive for. Right. Yeah, that the virus had been detected. Okay. So, yeah. and, and you're actually waiting on another phone call for some more detail, right? Uh, yes. Just uh, an office receptionist called me this morning. And then told me that uh, someone else would call later today to answer questions, explain things, but I haven't had that call yet. Yeah, so so that's why this is day one. We wanted to see what it looked like on a day one of getting the news. And so he's in quarantine once again. I'm wearing a hefty, hefty trash bag back here behind a wall of glass, sipping on some Clorox, actually off-brand, Food City brand. Actually, yeah, Food City. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so well, this is day one blog. We're going to try to do some day twos and day threes and some other stuff. So we we'll, go ahead. Hey, hey, and one thing, I haven't had a temperature or any of the symptoms of being sick the entire period. So I, you know, yeah. So that's a good thing. And the thing I, I want to do this for is just to help others who may be concerned about being exposed or who may have really been exposed so it's sort of making a hey here's my journey kind of thing yeah so anyway we'll come back with a, a video tomorrow and uh see what's going on but uh 
see, see if we have an update from the person that gives you a call yeah. in later okay. on. So, uh, is there anything else? Uh, That's it, man. Thank all you. All right. See you guys later.